Will this play? Yeah. That's good. Hi, Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. Where's your husband? He's, he's cooking the Sunday feast, so he's preparing. Okay. Sunday feast on Friday night. Yes. Yeah, it's a lot. They've already spent many hours. Okay. <laughs> Last time that I spoke uh, formally like this, other than on Zoom calls over the internet and whatnot, is in Ottawa. one. Recently, we were uh, reading from Chaitanya Charitamrita, so I want to return to that uh, section which is uh, the beginning of the Madhya Leela and, and uh, tonight and tomorrow night and Sunday as well to some extent and, uh, and Monday, Gorpanima itself. And uh, we'll be lecturing on uh, topics related to uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance. <clears throat> and that uh, relative to our um, Bhakti Vinod Paribar as it was um, referred to by Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvata Prabhupada. Um, <clears throat> and so uh, tonight, returning, as I say, to where we left off, if you will, Chaitanya Charitamrita, um, we go to the third uh, chapter of Mandalila. And um, at this point, Mahaprabhu has. Uh, Accepted the renounced Lord of Light. Madhya Leela is, of course, the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, in between Nadi Leela and Anti Leela. And uh, it is the, it's really the center of focus of uh, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Unlike uh, Chaitanya Bhagavad or Chaitanya Mongol and other texts. Um, um, the center of the book is the Madhulila, and the Madhulila is, is the way wherein Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually uh, becomes officially, if you will, a sadhu. Hmm? His sadhuna, sad, sadhuness, that he was uh, actually uh, admiring hmm? his previous Leela as it manifested in the form of the Raja Gopis and Radha in particular. Hmm? So the sannyas, Leela of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, is not as some often make it out to be something that is uh, relative only to the external side of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, descent. It's uh, in indeed the, the side of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that is thought to be external is, of course, the, he's a yuga avatar. His internal side is his pursuit of. The, uh, the experience of himself through uh, the, uh, the behalf of, of Radha. But these two are not, uh, are not separate. Sometimes we go, oh, that's the, that's the uh, yoga avatar side. We're not interested in that. Yes, uh, somebody went around some years ago and gave Harinam in every town and village. But the real thing is the internal pursuit of, of, of uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Well, if we look not too hard, it doesn't take too much to uh, dismiss that, those types of uh, dismissals, if you will, of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's external side, because Chaitanya Krishna Das Prabhupada himself tells us that the, that the Yuga Dharma side of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which just happens to be the time in which he appeared, corresponds with the, with the, with the, uh, with the, uh, onset, if you will, of the Kali Yuga, um, that he took the Yuga Dharma, which is Namsan Kirtan, and what did he do with it? He wove it together with brains in a garland. And through that Namsan Kirtan, he gave Rag Bhakti, which is also the external side of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That's pretty internal, if you will. And it takes us, Prabhupada Bhakti, through Nam San Kirtan, which is the method to the matters of Mahaprabhu that, that we find in the Antilila. That's not something that you can really teach about. Um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu entered into 
the private internal life through the way he conducted himself as a public figure, which was um, his preoccupation with Namsan Kirtan. Mm -hmm. um, and again, through, through, by weaving that Namsan Kirtan, which doesn't necessarily um, yeah. um, uh, result in attaining frame. Frame, of course, is a very Godia word. Obviously, it's a Sanskrit word, but I, when I say it's a Godia word, I mean it's a word that the Godias have very much uh, um, grabbed for themselves and made much out of frame, prayojan. It is not mukti which is the goal of every other sampradaya, whether it be the um, Adi Shankar's perspective on um, mukti, which we take some exception to, or whether it be the, the, the types of mukti that the Bhagavatam speaks of uh, openly. This is... Um, the goal of Nuda um, Sampradaya, Madhva Sampradaya, even the Vragmarg Sampradayas like Bhagavad uh, Sampradaya, Krishna Swami, or um, Nimbarka. It's just a word. I mean, it's more than a word, but they, they use the word Mukti. But the Gaudi is they, 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 they move away from that idea, both with regard to the, the sense of Mukti. Uh, propounded by Adi Shankar, and the the type of mukti that is attainable both in Vaikuntha, both in, in, in a broad sense, there are more than two, but in a broad sense, two types of mukti within Vaikuntha relative to the, this is complicated, the five kinds of mukti. <laughs> uh, that means some devotees attain Vaikuntha with a desire or based on a desire driven by a desire to attain one of those types of mukti, like living on the planet of God. This is their driving force or having opulences like Bhagwan, having a form like Narayan, being an attendant of Narayan. These are perks, if you will, of, of, of liberation that drive the practice of some devotees, whereas others are driven by praying in Vaikuntha. Hmm? Praying um, kind of, the word is appropriate, but when we look at the praying love, hmm? love of God in the, in the, in the, um, in the uh, Latin, what is it, Roman, uh, uh, Greek, Greek, like maybe world, you have Eros and you have Agape, and the two are like they're very different. And Eros is not really love; it's it's the human uh, drive for love that's self-centered. And Agape is that love of God. It's very different than how you love your children, or you love your lover or friends, and so on and so forth. But of course, as we know in Gaudiya Vaishnavism. If there's going to be love of God, the idea is it must be, in, in all respects, as, as intensely as you might love your parakia, paramour lover, uh, you should love, you can love God. And what will that, how will that play itself out? Well, it won't be um, a kind of love in which there remains a distance between the object of love and the lover that is bridged to some extent, by worship. Hmm? But in love, as Radha says, those who say, I love you, they don't know anything about love because in love, there is no other. Hmm? <laughs> this is a, this is a, a very, um, uh, to a, a, a beautified non-duality. Advaiga hmm? hmm? a beautiful a beautiful form of non-duality, you understand? Because there, Shankar, for example, has a very, not very beautiful, a very becoming, not very charming at all. And so it also with, um, with the worshipful, dutiful love of uh, Vaikuntha, because he's God. 
you should be worshipped. I told the story before, mind that, forgive me for those of you who have heard it a few times, but uh, I repeat it. I was in South India with one of my governors uh, some decades ago, and we were visiting a Sanskrit school, and um, the um, headmaster was a, a member of the Sri Sampadaya and a very nice uh, devotee of, of Martin Brian. And we were at his house and he, were, he was hosting us and, uh, and uh, serving Prashad. And during the Prashad, we were engaged in Hari Kata, Krishna Kata, to be more specific. Hari is the favorite name of Krishna in Braj because he stole the name of his heart. Hari means to take away, to steal. Anyway, my godmother said uh, to the, our guest, uh, forgive me, but I forget his name, he said, Whenever we talk about Krishna, you always seem very jolly. So this is very nice, very nice. And then he said, um, my God, said, but, but when we talk about Narayan, and then the man just froze. He says, that is another thing. I was like, oh, I was like, yes. He's a man from, ba here he is, he's from Baikuntha. This is how he feels. Or Narayan, that is another thing. He froze and folded his hands and was silent and so forth. Very beautiful, mm -hmm. but not as beautiful <laughs> and not as charming as the Brech Leva is, is the point. Mm -hmm. um, where, as I say, uh, the, the pursuit of the love of, of, of the cowherd Govinda, this is different than the pursuit of love of him in the form of, of, of Narayan. Even if your love for Narayan is driven by praying and living on the same planet or having the same opulence is just a, an extra that you accept because it's part of being there, or it's been granted to you. Some go there for that purpose. That's a little bit of a lower idea. Some go there with the purpose only of praying, but they don't speak of it like that. They want Mukti, they want to serve Narayan, it's only out of love for Narayan, but the love of Govinda, Jiva Goswami makes all these points in his commentary on Bhakti Samhita Sindhu. <clears throat> that is another thing. And so the devotees have, unlike every other uh, uh, sampradaya of the schools of Vedanta, have called their goal praying, 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 not mukti, right? Praying. How did we get there? Praying. How will we get there? Somehow we segue into this discussion. Um, but <laughs> but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this is uh, was his goal, and the way method, if you will, uh, to his, 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 his madness. It's madness to think that you can love God like this. Huh? In Vaikuntha, they will think you're crazy. Hmm? When Gopu Kumar, the protagonist in Sanatana Prabhu's Brihat uh, Bhagavatamrita, came into Vaikuntha and saw Narayan and, and he thought, this is the Gopal in my, my mantra. Hmm? Gopi Janavalabhaya, so aha, he was chanting a, a 10 syllable form of the 18 syllable Gopal mantra. That's the primary diksha mantra of our, uh, of our sampradaya. Mm -hmm. And so when he saw Narayan, he said, hey, Gopal. And then the, 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 the attendants, he said, you can't talk like that here. This is, this is God, this is Narayan. Yes, he has a leela that he shows every now and then. Uh, uh, Krishna Leela, but he expands himself and he associates himself. And you can't enter into that. This is very central, of course, to our um, key, if you will, uh, philosophical point that uh, Jiva Goswami refers to as the Pariba Sutra, the key, the password to unlock the tattva of Bhagavatam, Krishna's two Bhagavan Swayam. What am I saying? If Krishna is not the source of Narayan, then there, the Krishna Leela is a manifestation of Narayan within Vaikuntha that sometimes shows up on earth, but it's not a realm in which you can enter and have that kind of rapport, relationship, or love with Bhagwan, like a gopa, like a gopi. It's a face that Narayan shows, it's charming. Uh, but if Narayan is an avatar, well, is an expansion of Krishna, you can say Narayan is the source of avatars, so the avatars come from him through Mahavishnu, 
the original avatar into the world, but Narayan is the expansion in the part of Yom of Krishna is the idea, right? Mm -hmm. Krishna has qualities that Narayan doesn't have. Mm -hmm. He has Rupa Madhurya. Mm -hmm. He has sweet, sweet form. It means it's human-like, right? He has Lila Madhurya. Sweet Leelas, like Rasa Leela, like herding cows. Have you, like, what, what, is, a, what is a typical Narayan Leela? <laughs> <laughs> well, we go to his Leela avatars, like Varaha or the Shringa. They're interesting and, 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 and attractive in ways, but they're not charming, human-like. They're full of Aishwarya, right? Majesty and so forth, which creates a little bit of distance. The power. Of, of the Godhead manifest in them, which is of course important. With the Mila Madhurya, Prema Madhurya, the type of praying there is different as I'm explaining. And Venu Madhurya, as I wrote recently in my commentary on Nabi Pastaka and Rupa Goswami, of course, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Rupa Goswami is saying that Navadweep, some people say Navadweep is Vaikuntha of the Parabhyam. Other people say it is Goloka. But those who really know the tattva say it is Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. What he means by that is, Vaikuntha is one thing, Goloka is another thing. And inside Goloka, at the center of Goloka, there is a, there is, a, it is Goku. Mm -hmm. There's a square, if you will, if you want to look at it from a point of view of a geometrical description in the Yantra, there's a square which is called Sveta Dweep. Sveta Dweep. It is a, like a private island, something like that. Pure white island. I mean, it's floating in milk. So it's white. <laughs> uh, and milk is nothing but, of course, the affection of the cows. Right? If, they, if the calf is near, they have that down in milk, right? So you have to swim across an ocean of affection to get there. And you have to be one pointed in your, your swimming. Mm -hmm. right. So there, Sveta Dweep, but it's a big place. Mm -hmm. And inside of that square of Sveta Dweep, well, poetically speaking, then we get, geometrically it's a square, and poetically it's a lotus. Go back to the geometrical description, there's a hexagon there. And in the center of the hexagon, that is the Gokul of Golok. And Jiva Goswami refers to it as the para sveta dweep. Hmm? This is the para sveta dweep. And Vrindavan Das Thakur says in Chaitanya Charitamrita, this, he says, Navadweep gram sveta dweep nam. Hmm? And in the future, he says, this, this will be declared. This will be, this will be known all over the world. That, and this is what Rupa is saying in his Navadweep as I said, when he says, but people who know say it is Vrindavan. Hmm? He means Vrindavan, he means Gokul. This means where outside of that circle in Sveta Dweep, outside of the Para Sveta Dweep, there's some Aishvarya in the Leela of Krishna. You can find uh, Leelas of Krishna married, for example, Swakiya with Radha. Hmm? So, our goal, of course, is the center of the Parasvita Dweep, Vrindavan, hmm? uh, uh, and it's very beautiful what, uh, what Vrindavan Dostakwa says. It's beautiful for us in particular. Why? Hmm? Because we did it. What does that mean? He said, in the future, people will know, it will, it will be proclaimed hmm, that that Sveta Dweep, or Navadweep Gram, Sveta Dweep Nam. The, the Gram, the village of Navadweep, is its actual name, or other name to, to distinguish it from anything in the world, hmm, is Sveta Dweep. So, what, what is our role in that? Well, when my Guru Maharaj, and we're all here on account of, we're here because of Bhakti Vinod Thakur and the vision that he had, hmm, that in the language of Puttapat Sridhar Maharaj, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasitaka gave some shape to the form of Gaudiya Mahat. And Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada took all over the world. And one of the principal, the principal way in which he sought to take it all over the world and, and felt that 
because of this particular approach he was successful was that he dedicated himself to writing his books because Saraswati Thakur told him what we should preach in English. He wrote to Prabhupada, but he said, and says, Ramaraj said, any service I can render because he was a householder and not in the mob with all the goings on and the, all of the, the, the dedication and the campaign for outreach and so forth. Saraswati Thakur replied, to my Grimarchian letter, eh, I think it would be good for you and if you preach in English. And Prabhupada took it. He used to say, my Grimarch ordered me to preach in English. It's like a suggestion. Hmm? This is Guru Nishta. In one, one, uh, one uh, suggestion of the Guru, hmm? you take that and make it your life, you can, it can become perfect. Hmm? You don't have to become a big scholar. It's not unnecessary. Hmm? It's very simple, it's practice, actually. It's, not, it's difficult to understand it. We're too complicated. We've woven a web. Oh, what a web is an English saying. We went at first to deceive. And so we deceived ourselves identifying with matter. It's, it's very, we're very complicated as a result of that. Simplicity is a beautiful quality right, of, the, of the devotees. So my rumor took it as an order and he, 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 he translated the Bhagavatam, good, good, good portion of it, obviously, but when he, the point I'm making is that he designed a cover for the book. He came to the United States with a trunk of books, hmm, uh, was the, which was the first canto of the Bhagavatam. Some of those editions, somehow I have a couple of those original editions with Prophet's original English. It's quite, a, quite charming before it was edited, because he wanted it to be edited, so it'd be more, uh, readily received by English speaking people. But anyway, the point is, excuse me, he, he designed the cover, the, the, the art work. He didn't draw it, but he, he, he had it commissioned and he told him what to draw. And if you look at the picture, on the, and, and it's been replicated in the modern editions, the edited editions um, as well. Uh, and they're blue, like a blue sky. And there are all these planets like Lokas, Vaikuntha. They have the names of different uh, Nishunga, Vamana, Kurma, Matsya, and so forth. Different faces of Narayan, which is a whole planet, right, if you will. And then in the center, there's this lotus, right? And then in the center of the lotus, there's Radha and Krishna. It's very obvious. But if you look very carefully at the picture, you see. Behind Radha and Krishna, there's Chaitanya Mahaprabhu <laughs> performing Sankirtan. So Navagi Brahm Sweetati Nam, and he took it all over the world, fulfilling the prophecy of Vrindavan Das Thakur. He said, in the future, this will be, this will be shared all over. Everyone will know. Navagi is Sweetati. Of course, we're still doing that, but many people know. But we know. Hmm? This is how we know. Hmm? So, so this is our goal, the frame there, in such a place. And as I was saying, it's not necessarily a result, or ordinarily, I should even say, a result of Sankirtan, which simply means to, to let's say, to use proper translation, congregationally uh, uh, chant the names of God. It's not given that the result of that would be that you will go to Goloka. Hmm? You, 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 this is the Yuga Dharma. Right? So you, again, it's a kirtan, is an anga of Vaidhi Bhakti. You can do that and go to Vakunta. Hmm? Do not. Hmm. But because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has again, woven together the Yuga Dharma with praying hmm? in a garland, and he's taking off the garland to give it to the world. One hand he's gone, lost to Mahabhav, with the other hand he's holding the garland out and putting it in the two hands of Nityananda Prabhu, who's giving garland and giving it to everybody. Shadavan Janohe, Shadavan Janohe. Just to have a little bit of faith uh, that he will give, right? So this is the method, the point is, to the madness, if you will, of Auntie Leela, the internal life of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. How he conducted himself in his public life resulted in his private life. Once I was speaking here in North Carolina and um, 
out in your area there in, in Durham. And uh, I don't remember exactly what I said, but afterwards, one gentleman, Indian gentleman, um, said, Swami, I think that um, I think that the spiritual life is a private thing. <laughs> so he was kind of like this, this getting together publicly, chanting and so forth. The spiritual life is more of a private thing. <laughs> so I said, well, actually, uh, spiritual life is such that one's private life and public life are the same. <laughs> that is spiritual life. It's not that you have a private life over here, it's spiritual. And in, in the temple, then you go somewhere else and you conduct yourself uh, otherwise. The whole purpose of coming to the temple, people say, God is everywhere, right? God doesn't need anything, right? We need things. Why you spend money building a temple for God? God doesn't need a temple. And he's everywhere anyway. It's true. They're, you're right. The problem is you need a temple and you need to give your money to God because you're not, you're using it for yourself and it belongs to him. He has all money, he doesn't need any, but you're trying to take it from him. Hmm? And it's not working. You're not really getting anywhere by doing that. You're just frustrating yourself. And yes, God's everywhere, but you don't see him everywhere. And the proof is that you don't conduct yourself as, as if God's everywhere. So we put him in a temple and say, go there and then conduct yourself there. Give some money there. Hmm? And bow your head there, and if you do that right by hearing from the sadhus who reside there, who frequent there, who, who explain all these things, why do we bow our head before the deity? Because the Vaishnava told us that is God. <laughs> Otherwise, how would we know? So where is God? Hmm? He's in the heart of the, the Guru, the heart of the Vaishnava. Okay? So if we conduct ourselves properly in the temple over time, then the universality of the deity, the reality of that will be perceived and we'll conduct ourselves everywhere as if God is everywhere because we see him everywhere, right? In everything. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, anyway, his method to the madness, which is desirable, if you will, what is that? Nice verse from Chaitanya Charitamrita. Vaya Bisha Jala Hoy, Vaya Bisha Jala Hoy, Bitare Anandam Hoy, Krishna Premier Adbhuta Charita. The Adbhuta Charit of Prem, the wonderful characteristic of Prem is Vaya Vaya Bisha Jala Hoy, Bitare Anandam Hoy. Outside, it looks like poison. It's very, look, look at Chaitanya Mahaprabhu weeping. He could not conduct himself publicly anymore. He couldn't talk coherently. Just erupting in ecstatic symptoms that look rather disconcerting. So on the outside, even for sadhka, it looks disconcerting. Oh, you have to change so many of your ways. Um, uh, whether it be uh, shave your head or you wear tea lock or in, in many ways in which we, we conduct ourselves appropriately Sadachar. it's frightening to the people mm -hmm. to the common people that's frightening you don't have you don't have a whatever you know <laughs> you don't do that you don't so it's shocking to them disconcerting but even for the sadhaka Inside, if you do it right, it's 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 gratifying. You get the strength to defy the norms, right? You don't have a problem defying the norms because of a new norm. What to speak of advanced devotees, as this verse is speaking about? Outside it looks like poison, but inside it is ananda, boy, full of ananda, prema ananda. Bhagavatam tells us what? He tells us, pay attention to this book. It says, what is the verse? Nasta prayeshu abhadreshu ittum bhagavata seva. Bhagavata uttama shloke bhakti of bhagavati nashtiki. He says, you better pay attention here. Hmm? Study the Bhagavatam regularly because this is not easy to catch what's, what's essentially what's going on here. Hmm? 
Even the Bhagavatam had to couch its essential message in a Puranic setting, some of which is distracting. Yeah. Off into the fifth canto, and uh, you know, for example, or other topics that are part of uh, what a Purana constitutes and so forth. This is the Shrimad Bhagavatam is the re-editing of the of the of the Bhagavad Purana on the order of Nara to Vyas. <laughs> To emphasize in no uncertain terms what is the efficacy of bhakti. That's what our sampradaya is doing in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the bhakti shastras, if you will, like Chaitanya Charitamrita, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, who are founding acharyas, the Goswamis. So, in this particular text, Chaitanya Charitamrita, this the point I'm making long and roundabout way, if you will, is the center of the book is the way, the way. <coughs> The goal is it the mati, is it the anti lila? It's what's invisible in the anti lila. That if we were to talk about it, well, Krishna discovered me. What does he do in that regard? He defers to Vrindavan Das. He defers to Vrindavan Das, not just because he came before him. And wrote about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes because his focus was primarily on the Adi Lila. Adi Lila means Navadweep. And Navadweep Gram, Sretadweep Nam. And it's the Parasretadweep, it's Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu and Adi Lila. What is that Anandamoy that he's feeling inside? That is Vrindavan. He entered into Vrindavan there. We will want to enter into Navadweep. And through Navadweep, enter into Vrindavan. Worshiping Nadia and live in Vrindavan. That is the idea. So our goal with regard to Gorlila is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Not Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is the Aishwarya name. Sanyasi. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, mm-hmm. but Vishwambar, Nimai Pandit, mm-hmm. Sachinandan. Mm-hmm. We used to hear all of this. This is the most important name, Sachinandan. Mm-hmm. No Aishwarya, no Aishwarya there. Mm-hmm. There and enter the Kirtan and Srivasangam, and, and from there, mm-hmm. Through Nam Kirtan, entered into Golok, residing in both places ultimately. Mm-hmm. This is our ideal. So, the center of this book is Madhya Lila, and Madhya Lila really begins with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taking sannyas. It's a very significant uh, aspect of the Lila that's very pertinent to us, even though mm-hmm. it's the Lila's, for example, in Jagannath Puri, South India, Varanasi, uh, they are not something that we want to attain or enter into, but we want to learn from them what's taught there by Mahaprabhu as he speaks to Prakashananda Sarasvati, as he converts Sarvabhoma Bhatta Charja, as he converts Venkata uh, Bhatta, uh, and so on and so forth. Hmm? We learn the tattva, the philosophy that underlies the, his method. The, 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 uh, Nam-dharma, Nam-sankirtan, hmm? that will help to orient us such that we can give our all in all to, to, to Nam, hmm? the way. Hmm? Nam. And, and so it, 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 for us, this is very important. Hmm? Right? Hmm? But it's 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 a means again to an end of entering into the Navadvipa Lila and serving Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Dasi Bhakti tint with Sakya, special kind of Dasi Bhakti, like the Dasi Bhakti we find in Vrindavan, is tinged also with, with Sakya. It is a land of Sakya. Ho Bhagya Maho Bhakya. Nanda Gopa Padukasam, Yamitram Paramananda, Puna Brahma, Sanatana Guru. Friendship pervades the entirety 
of, of Golok, touches the Sakya, excuse me, touches the Dasya. Uh, we find it, uh, it combined with, with, uh, with Vatsalya in Maldi. Mm -hmm. In Narmasakas, it, it's also touching to Madhurya. Mm -hmm. The land of friendship there. Mm -hmm. Even Jiva Goswami says in Priti Sandarbha, the Braja Gopis, mm -hmm. the, the, the Kantabhav of Braj is Madhurya mixed with Sankhya. I've written a whole article about that. <coughs> Very interesting uh, perspective. So, Madhulila and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Sanyas. We should, this should not be uh, neglected by us. We should not think this is external. Hmm? If he has woven together the Nam Dharma with Dragon, that means by this Sri Krishna Sankirtan, given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in this particular Kaliyuga, the result will be not going to Bhakuntha hmm? by Sankirtan. It will be going to Goloka. Hmm? Going to the Goku, what did say to Dweep, right? Hmm? To attain Braj Brain. Hmm? This will be the result. So, we see, we shouldn't artificially separate Nam Sankirtan, the Yuga Dharma, from Rag Bhakti. Hmm? We'll go on about that, but let's turn to the text for a moment. We left off with Mahaprabhu citing a verse from the 11th canto of Bhagavatam. So that's a significant verse in our line coming from Bhakti Sanatha Sarasvatapa, who established a renounced order, a visible renounced order uh, to send missionaries out who would stand out. Um, in a different colored cloth, for example, uh, in the public. When I went to uh, India the first time, and I came to Madras to Calcutta, and Calcutta was a sea of white dhotis. You won't see that now, but just a sea, every, every, every man very white uh, in, in, the, in the marketplace uh, amongst the men. So you can imagine someone in the saffron cloth would stand out like a sore thumb. This was kind of one part of the, the, the idea of Mahaprabhu Sanyas. And I'll stand out, people will show me regard. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I'll create, just by wearing the cloth, a teachable moment. Mm -hmm. But he says here, quotes verse, Aham, what is it? This is a verse, as I said, important in our lineage because when Saraswati Thakur gave sannyas to his disciples, as my Guru Maharaj gave sannyas to me, along with the sannyas mantra, they would give this verse. Check this verse, it's a strength to your commitment of, of, of renunciation. It's the, the, the significant uh, words here, of course, are Parakmanishtam and Tamomukundangri, Nisheva. So it, it, um, the Brahman in Bhavantipur in 11th Canto of Bhagavatam, except it's a Nyas and he's, he, quoted this, he cited this verse, the Bhagavatam verse. I'll cross over the Durantaparam, that which is insurmountable, the ocean of material existence. Uh, yeah, easily by being uh, nishtam, firmly fixed, paratma, paratma nishtam, mm -hmm. fixed in, uh, in, 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 um, in service to God. Mm -hmm. Not like the ekdanda sannyasis of Shankar, they're fixed, mm -hmm. um, but they're not paratma nishtam. Mm -hmm. For them, the Paratma, Paramatma Bhagavan is, is, is uh, something to, uh, uh, that is relative, uh, a vehicle hmm? only. And the Guru as well. One time in Mayapur, um, Prabhupada took him to the Ganga to bathe, and after he was bathing, and, and one of his disciples extended his hand and helped pull Prabhupada out. So Prabhupada pulled out of the Ganga, and Prabhupada stepped on the shore, and then Threw his hand down like this. He said, That is my avad. When that devotee was like, What did I do wrong? I'm a my avad. 
And the Prabhupada explained, this is how, when they get on, when they arrive, then they throw out the guru. Hmm? There is not bhakti. But you should understand this. There is no sampradaya anywhere in which the guru is more important than a Gaudiya Vaishnavism. Hmm? Follow what happened. Obvious, there are obvious ways that the, the Guru is important. Krishna's come to us in a particular form that just seems to work for us, right? He or she speaks in such a way that we feel like we identify with that. I thought like that. I feel like that. Does that make sense? It's almost like your own, your own heart is being, feelings are being articulated better than you could have, something like that. So there's, a, there's a resonating, right? And uh, there are many... Well, there are not many, but there are some, a number of the different types of persons. They have different backgrounds and why they uh, end up where they do. It's a long story. When I met Prabhupada for the first time, it wasn't the first time, <laughs> I can tell you that. And it was very, very uh, clear to me. Um, so, yeah. So Guru, most and very important because there are you know, obvious Ways in, in, in the beginning where we'll identify with that, but as we go deeper, what does Vishwana Chakuti Thakur say in his Guru Vastakam that we sing every morning? Sakshad Haritvena Samasta Shastra. Whoa, all the Shastras they say that Krishna has come really in the form of the Guru. You should pay attention here. Ujjapad Sri Ramarji tell us, he said that if in your bhajan, Krishna appears and asks you to do something, you tell him, hold on a second, and go ask your guru, is that the guy that you were talking about? He told me to do this, and, then, and report back. Krishna would be very pleased with that kind of response. Right? So, yes, Krishna has come in the form of the guru, charge him on bichaniyam, to So many statements to suspect. But Sars, the Vishnu Shabri Thakur goes on, he says, Samasta Shastra Kintu Prabhuja Priya Kintu Prabhuja Priya. But however, he's qualifying it. The Guru is Kintu Prabhuja Priya. How can he be God? Like all the Shastras say, and be dear to God at the same time. Right? So this second line, this is important. Hmm? How is he dear? What is his Ananda? Hmm? Guru Devaya. Hmm? Krishnanandaya, Dimahi. Hmm? We have to understand the tattva, Guru tattva. Hmm? But what is it? Uh, ananda. Hmm? And, uh, what that we shall Dimahi enter into, focus on. Hmm? What is what what is uh, driving him or her? What is the bhava? What is Kintu Prabhuya Vikriyavatasya? I mean, he has love for Krishna. He has Krishnananda. And, and this is our ideal, that ideal. And he will be there in, a, in that form, in the form of that Ananda. So to, to discover all of this, the deeper we go, the Guru never fades into the background at all. This is, this is, you won't find any, if you look at it, the whole philosophy, the theology, Guru Tattva in Gaudi Vaishnavism, you will be, you will see it, what I'm saying. There's no sampradaya where the role of the Guru is more uh, significant, more important, right? Mm -hmm. So Prabhupada threw his hand down. This, the, the, con the huge contrast, of course, is the, is the Mayavad. They just throw out the Guru, throw out God, done with that, now I've arrived, I'm God, or whatever, right? Uh, it's, a, it's not a very beautiful form of non-duality. As I said earlier. And in Vaikuntha, we don't find the same kind of idea that we find. Guru is not going to appear there as a coward boy along with you and be in his group or Gopa, Gopi, Manjari Papa, and so on. So, no, this is, this is, this is a very special idea in Gopi Vaishnavism. So, Anyway, the verse, Paratmanishtam, it means uh, he says, I will easily cross over material existence by real nishta, uh, uh, being fixed in the service of Bhagavan. This, this is a different kind of sannyas than 
the popular Ekadun de Sanyas of, uh, of, of Shankar, hmm? the contrast here. Uh, and he says, Tamo Mukunda, I'm going to shave by Mukunda is a, is a name for Bhagavan. Mukunda, right? It means who, who makes little of, of, of Mukti, really. Hmm? It gives something more than Mukti, really. Hmm? Um, so, as we were speaking about, about earlier. So, this is a, a verse that Bhakti Siddhanta drew from the Bhagavatam and um, emphasized it with regard to the sannyasa institution that he established in Gaudiya Mahal that was passed on by his disciples and, and, uh, and, and so on. Um, it's an innovation, hmm? very minor in one sense, uh, but some people who misconstrue details with principles think it's a big deal um, because uh, well, the Goswamis didn't take sannyas, they wore white cloth and so forth and so on. Mm. You got to grow up at some point. It's, it's not the color of your cloth that will determine whether you attain uh, or Maybe anyway, that's the whole. I will talk about that in one of the next few days, maybe on Sunday. Um, but uh, here, Mahaprabhu has taken sannyas, and, and here this verse from Bhagavatam is cited. And of course, he says in uh, through the pen of of. Uh, Kaviraj Kasami Prabhu Kahe Sadhu El Bikshur Vachan Mukunda Seva Bhatta Kola Nirdharan Paratma Nishta Matra Vesha Dharan Mukunda Seva Yahoi Samsara Dharan. So easily you cross over Samsara to Seva to Mukunda and Paratma Nishta and Vesha Dharan. He's really saying here. It's not about just changing your, your 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 dress, the color of your dress. It's about parama, paranishta. This is this, this uh, and probably used to say, all of us should give ourselves entirely to Bhagwan, regardless. This is the power of bhakti. Hmm. One doesn't have to be a sannyasi formally, which is frightening. Hmm. That one can have family like Bhakti Vinodakur with 10, 12 children. But hold on, don't, don't go, don't leave yet. Sada Hari Bole, you have to do that part too. You have to, you have to mix your household life with uh, this, fix, this uh, it, the center of your life has to be this chanting. Hmm? This chanting. You, you have to say the thing, I have to perfect this chanting. Hmm? This chanting will take this. This is my vehicle. This is this is the method. Hey, even on the, nam, if you do uh, nam japa out loud, it is a form of kirtan. Hmm? It is a, a, a sub angle of kirtan. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, many places, Harya Stakur's uh, japa is referred to as sankirtan also. So you're doing sankirtan in that way also. And Guru has given that. You have to pay attention there. Hmm? Yes, that is everything. Yes, this is the whole method of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Everything came out, comes out of this. No one, no one can, no one can. Once I was sitting with a fellow, uh, and he said, uh, I said, Kirtan is the way. He said, Well, maybe Leela Kirtan. I said, Well, oh, you have not understood Nam, in which the Leela is found, the Guna, the Rupa, the Leela, the Parshadas, the Krishna, they're all found in the name. This is the idea. Hmm. Yes, we don't hear the same. Remembering Krishna, Krishna Leela, that is. We should do that. But we do not hear that about remembering Krishna, Leela, Leela Smaranam, for example, in the way that we hear about Nam. Nam is a way to enter into the Smaranam because Nam will purify your heart and enable you to do Smaranam. It's not just this, this, this thinking, it's not thinking. You can think of Krishna, you could think of the form of Krishna while chanting. But when you chant and Krishna appears on your mind, he will look differently than how you think of him, when, how you can think of him. It's not a bad thing. To, to, you, you've got to control your mind somehow or other. But if you could just listen, if you could just listen and, and let the mind be still and just hear the name, what's in a name? Everything is there. It will come out to you. The qualities of Krishna will come out. The form of Krishna. The leelas of Krishna. Hmm? So we have to have this. We should have faith in this. Mahaprabhu showed this by his example. Hmm? 
His sannyasi was all, all about the efficacy of non. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, 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 so uh, what happened? Anyway, to, to, to enter into the Leela narrative to some extent, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas, and, uh, and as we heard in my last talk, I believe, uh, he wandered off and um, wanted to go to Vrindavan. Right? And Nityananda Prabhu intercepted him, I believe, uh, at the behest of Advaita, tricked him and told him that uh, I want to go to the Jamuna, but here's the Jamuna right here. It happened to be a place where there was a confluence and one side is considered to be the Jamuna, the other side is the Ganga. So it wasn't entirely lying, but, but, uh, but he was tricking Mahaprabhu. He actually, Advaita, Nityananda actually found some local coward boys in the area and told him to tell tell Chaitanya Mahaprabhu this is the Jamuna. So anyway, he was tricked and all of a sudden on the boat, here comes Advaita, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, Rita, what are you doing in Vrindavan? <laughs> How did you get here? Said, Hop on, I'll tell you. And he took him to Shantipur. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, Nityanandapu dis- dispatched someone, I forget who, go, maybe Chandra Shekhar, mm-hmm. close, close, close family friend of Jagannath Mitra and Sachi, um, who after the passing of of Jagannath Mitra, then Sachi came under the care of Chitana Mahaprabhu, who came under the care of too, like an uncle. Mm-hmm. Oh, Chandra Shekhar, go back to the Nagadri and tell everybody to come to Shantipur. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu were just taken off in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. There were rumors, word was rippling around Nagadri. He might find will take some notes. Mishram by Mish will take some notes. How is it possible? How's, this is this was the, the Grand Mikata of, of Nadia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, in the morning, he was gone. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is what what, it, what this meant to the to the, to the Don Basis. We, we can only hope to uh, have some idea, right? What, it, what what are their feelings? What this meant to them? They had just kept them saying they had just gotten the Vaishnavas had just gotten me my pundit. The brash young debater wasting his life, another nyaya. Hmm? Of course, he was a religious boy of sorts, but still hmm? he was not joining in the Sankirtan with the Srivas and, uh, and, and so on. And then he went to. Gaya. Hmm. He had already met Ishwar Puri in Navadweep. And then he went really to find him again. Right? And he took initiation from him and he came back as a Vaishnav, weeping, chanting. You can just, what Garad Harpandi thought, what did Leta thought? It did not, who had not, had not arrived yet in Navadweep. Hmm. Suklambar, this one, that, oh, so many. They, they, they then all over the town, Nimai Pandas had become a Vaishnava. Nimai Pandas had become a Vaishnava. They would say that to the murder. One day I'll become a better Vaishnava than all of you. Oh, he's so proud, that guy. <laughs> hmm? Everybody in Navadweep loved Nimai Pandas, except the Vaishnavas. <laughs> they loved him more than anybody, but um, externally they didn't, they were very upset with him. He's such a, if we could get him in our group, it would be so good, but, but he's just wasting his time. Mm-hmm. He's so attractive, but he's wasting his time. You debate with Murari Gupta, mm-hmm. back and forth, back and forth, and then reach out, Murari, reach out and touch him and electrify Murari Gupta. Gupta. And then he would run away and think, what, what has he done? Who, what is, who is he? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now, Nimai Pandit has become a Vaishnava. What this meant? How they felt, what strength they got from this hmm? in a Muslim uh, uh, occupied situation where the, the, the Hinduism was tolerated but suppressed. Hmm? And, and what speak of Hinduism being suppressed, the, the Nam Dharma, understood by Advaita, by Srivas and elders, it wasn't understood by the, by the mass of Hindus. Indeed, they complained about this. Hmm? Their understanding. If they're joining this Krishna Nam out loud, it will lose all its power. Mm-hmm. And now Nimai Pandit, the most charming, and he had defeated Keshav Kashmiri. Mm-hmm. 
all the pundits of Nadia. And this boy has saved our reputation. When Keshav Kashmiri came, well, all the pundits were conveniently out of town. Tell him I'm not here to debate. Let that boy go and debate with him. Because if the boy loses, go say, eh, some boy you debated with. We were happy, didn't happen to be in town. <laughs> but if the boy defeats him, then what? Mm -hmm. And of course he did. When, this, when the pundit sang a hundred verses glorifying the Ganga, Mahaprabhu was very pleased. He said, do you have any comments? Said, well, yes, on the 64th verse, you said this, and I think this is the problem in terms of alliteration. And, uh, and the pundit passed out. He could even remember one of the, the 64th verse or any verse. And so it's a beautiful story. But he, and so all the pundits, the point is, of Navadweep, they got such strength from Mahaprabhu for their own reasons. This is, this is the greatest, uh, the, the seed of learning. It's been saved by 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 Bhavishra Bhavishra, he my pundit, we call him for sure, nickname, right? Mm -hmm. And now he my pundits become a Vaishnava. How the Vaishnava stuff? Mm -hmm. And then the Sankirtan movement began, right? And, and go into the house of Srivastava, private kirtan. And on the banks of the Gandhi, so many pious people would sit and think of how that could enter that kirtan. He came out for them, right? He came out for them. He came out for them when Nityananda Prabhu came shortly thereafter. It's maybe two years, maybe two years. Me, my pundit became a Vaishnava. Nityananda Prabhu came. Such strength the movement had. Nityananda Prabhu going out everywhere, canvassing, converting Jagai and Madai. And so they were just in a, in, it just had such momentum. John Kazi had been defeated. Mm -hmm. He turned into a Vaishnava practically, right? In the protection of the Sankirtan under the auspice of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Narahari himself, the Shingadeva, would appear, right? And said, That's my favorite instrument, that drum. <laughs> mm -hmm. right? And the devotees thought, Who is this Nimai Pandit? Mm -hmm. is, he, is he Krishna himself? How could that be? He's giving love of Krishna. This is this is the prerogative of Krishna, this Krishna praying. But then they thought, well, if he's Krishna, then we are he, Krishna's not alone. He has to be with his associates. And then they realized that's us. We, <laughs> in the Kirtan, the Trivas and the Mahabhusha, you are so Hanuman, you've come, Mari Gupta, welcome. Now you're in another Leela with me. And so on. Hmm? And then, of course, the, the vision was lost because this is Sadaka, Sadhana Siddha Bhumi. This is a land where Siddhas are playing the role, the drama of being, of doing Sadhana, of being Sadhakas. So they have an epiphany, he's Krishna, where his associates, and, and then the, the, the collapse, and, 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 and so on. War is Krishna. That's that. If Navadweep is Vrindavan, then Ch Krishna must be Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu must be Krishna. He cannot be an avatar of Krishna. It's not possible. Because, again, Krishna has four qualities, right? Rupa Madhurya, Lila Madhurya, Prema Madhurya, and Venu Madhurya, sweet flute, right? Narayan doesn't have these qualities. Hmm? Does Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, does the Sringadev have interest in, uh, in Prema Madhurya? Does Vamana? Hmm? Not interested in that. Hmm? No. Hmm. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, if he's Avatar, if, he, if he's God, which God is he? Which part of God? Well, we, he's Krishna himself. How can that be? Well, he has Lila Madhurya. It's very sweet. Hmm? It's very charming, very sweet, human-like, mm -hmm. and filled with worship of Krishna, love of Krishna, love of Radha and Krishna, the sweetest of the sweet. You cannot separate. You cannot take Krishna out of Gaur Leela. You cannot separate the two. Mm -hmm. He has Leela Madhurya, Prema Madhurya. He has a whole persona is about uh, Radha's love for Krishna and the desire to experience it from her vantage point. Hmm? 
Mila Madhuri, Prema Madhuri, uh, Rupa Madhuri. Oh, so many songs have been written about the beauty of, of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Golden and tall. Saffron, even when he took some you know, saffron, like the sunrise. Uh, oh, so many beautiful uh, descriptions of them. Rupa Madhuri. But where is his Ano? Maybe he's not Christian. He only has three. No. Rupi stole his name. Rupi tried to steal the Bano of Krishna because it's a big problem for them. It brings them into question, right? <laughs> because it takes away their, their moral uh, standing in the eyes of others. They hear the food and they're gone. And, and their moral character comes into question. So the Gopi Bhava's question, what is that? Hmm? Well, in Gorlila, the flute is there, but it's been stolen by those Gopis in the form of Krishna's Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's associates. Hmm? And they're turning it into a drum mm -hmm. and they're beating on it at Madunga. Mm -hmm. hmm? That is the flute. Mm -hmm. Sweet, sweet. Mm -hmm. And that's playing that drum that is the that is the heart beat, musically speaking, of the kirtan, right? Mrit Dunga, Mrit Anga. Mrit means clay. Anga means uh, like um, limb. Clay. It's a, it's, a, it's a simple, simple instrument. In the card talk progression, very, very simple. But the drum, the flute, stolen. And the question about the gopis, the philosophical, the theological question, the flute is answering the question. We send kirtan. What is the gopis love? It's not what it looks like on the surface. This is not ordinary. He's not avatar of Krishna. He's Krishna himself. But now he's become a Vaishnava in the Leela. And as I say, how, how much they are, the, the Vaishnavas are fortified by this. And again, Chan Kazi has just been defeated. I mean, there's nothing that can stop them. Yet the Nandababu is in their midst. What a powerful, powerful person. Jagai and Mother have been delivered. And this is now like, you know, a year and a half, two years, and he's gone. In the midst of it, he's gone. Taken sannyas. Try to imagine how, how they felt. And therefore, the trickery of Advaita to hold on to him. Mitinana who was sending Chandra Shekhar. Now would we bring them all to Shantipur? Bring them all to Shantipur. Everyone except one. Tapa Sudus Chadusareb Sitaraja Lakshmi. Dharmishtari Vachasaya Ravaram. Mayamri Dom Daita Ip Sitamandaram. Bandi Mahapurushati Charan. Bandi Mahapurushati Charan. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In Bhagavatam hmm? describes him. You know it? Chakva Sudhus Chadusuripsita Raj Lakshmi. This is Raj Lakshmi. In Vaikuntha, there is one Lakshmi. She has different faces, Sri, Bhu, Nila. But typically, there's one Lakshmi. Sometimes in art, three are depicted or two, but really they're just different faces of one Lakshmi. And Vrindavan has. Lakshmi Sahasra Sata Sambhana Sevamani. It is different quantitatively and qualitatively. What is the quantitative difference? Lakshmi Sahasra Sata means thousands of Lakshmis, gopis, thousands of them. Lakshmi Sahasra Sata Sambhana Sevamani. And they have a qualitative, Sevima, a special kind of serving attitude. It's different than Lakshmi or Vaikuntha. Mm -hmm. It's making, making Narayan into a plaything, character thing. What is the power of that, that mouth? What is that Goloka, Gokula, Svetpara, Svetadweep? What kind of place? Now, in Nagadweep, it's said in, in the uh, Nalali Pastikam, in every house there's a Lakshmi. Why is there a house, Lakshmi in every house? Because every house is, is, is a temple of Hari. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, there are two Lakshmis. There are three Lakshmis in Nabadweep. Two. Two and three. 
Sri Bhu Nila means Sri Lakshmi Priya. Bhu means Vishnu Priya. Nila means Navadvipa itself. Sometimes Nila in Bengal they use the term Lila, Navadvipa itself. This is all a, pre, a very preoccupation in Vaikuntha, these different energy, energetic uh, Shakti manifestations to Lakshmi, Sri, Bhu, Nila. Mm -hmm. Lakshmi, of course, in the Prakatli was present for some time and then, then she passed on and Mahaprabhu at the request of Sachi married Vishnu Priya. Mm -hmm. So everyone came to Shantipur except one, Vishnu Priya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is her pain? Mm -hmm. But she agreed to give Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the world. Mm -hmm. Vishnu Priya, Lakshmi Priya, these with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Bhakti and Bhakti no Thakur's vision, which we follow, this is a type of Vaidhi Bhakti, special kind of Vaidhi Bhakti. Therefore, at the birthplace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which Thakur discovered, he established deities of Lakshmi Priya, Vishnu Priya, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And in his own place of bhajan, he worshipped Gorgadhar. So in Madhuri Ras, in the Gorgadhar, this is the, the, the Radha Krishna of Gorlila, Radmarg. And Vishnu Priya, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that is Radhimarg. So should we just open and care about the Vishnu Priya? That is Radhimarg. No, no, don't think like that. You know? Bhakti Mahaprabhu says we, we should never dismiss that as a Vishnu Priya. She is, she is. Budevi hmm? mm -hmm. means also Satyabhama. Mm -hmm. But Bhakti Bhano goes further. He says, she is actually the combination of Slagini and Sambit, and therefore we call her Bhakti Devi. Mm -hmm. And just like Navadweep mm -hmm. is represented as nine islands, and each of the islands correspond with one of the limbs of Bhakti. Even by Prahlad, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Parasevanam. So, similarly, Vishnu Priya is a personification of Navalakshan Bhakti. And what is the role of Navalakshan Bhakti in Rag Bhakti? Oh, it's very prominent, actually. Rupa Goswami does. He only says three things about how to do Rag Bhakti. The third is, follow Vaidhi Bhakti. Do all the, do all the Vaidhi Bhakti. Huh? It's just been given the 64 limbs, except for maybe a couple of things that don't pertain, and do them with the ideal of attaining Rag Bhakti. Hmm? Shravanam, Girtanam, Smaranam in particular, and some half Archanam also are prominent in our Sampradaya. Hmm? So, Vishnu Pradevi, Pija, and Chakvas, who does the of H and Raj Bhakti, he gave up. Lakshmi, Vishnu, Vishnu Priya for us, and Vishnu Priya had to stay behind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, now, all the devotees assembled in Namadweep, and I can't go for too much longer. I lose your attention. It's a long talk, forgive me, but they rounded out. Then what happened? Well, they, you know, Krishna Das is quite a, uh, he must have been an excellent cook, Krishna Das Kaviraj, because mm -hmm. whenever he gets the opportunity, the verse at the verse at the verse you provided the wind with Namak as well. And it was this preparation and that preparation, and then you're gonna get lost in it there. It's a cookbook after cookbook after cookbook. Right? So he goes on all the preparations that were made. Sachi was brought to do the cooking for Mahaprabhu and uh, and then the feasting and kirtan went on for about 10 days and so forth. And then you know the seriousness of the matter came to the came to the front and it was a Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taking sannyas, and there was his mother, and 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 um, and he put himself. She embraced him, kissed him, mm -hmm. and he said, "What have I done? In madness, mm -hmm. taking sannyas. You are my mother. I, uh, uh, I cannot believe you. And all my friends." And he 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 taxed her with with. With a, with a service that you've got to get me out of this. Basically, you've got to get me out of this. You've got to do something. 
I cannot give you up. Mm -hmm. And I cannot give up my friends. It's not possible for me. But here I've taken sannyas, and I can't give that up either. So it's an impossible task that he gave. To, she said, he said, you fix it, mm -hmm. fix it. And in her own mind, of course, she's very, very proud that her son is, is so religious. Like the scene in Shine the Leela. Devavanda Nari Devavanda Nari Oh, and when Mahaprabhu will come back across the Ganga uh, in evening time and, and Vishnu Priya is cooked and Mother Saji says, you pay it now, you make the offering. Hmm? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will make the offering to the Hoksa uh, deity. Hmm? And in Gerada Pandit will perform Artik through Brahmana, read the Kirtan. And all of a sudden, you think that my son is just he's a good religious boy, so nice, so proud of him. And now he's taken sannyas, and this is what religion is about it's Dharma, Artha, Kama. <laughs> Don't say that one too loud. Everything will be ruined. <laughs> All the Dharma. That's it. This is basically that's what goes on. Right? Well, somebody eked out and you know left, and you know it was all good. <laughs> and God was gracious, gave us a nice setting, and we got beautiful children. This one, you can't deny it, but let's not talk too loud about it. We want you to be religious, but not a fanatic, not a Nagabapa or something. We take off to the Himalayas. Mm -hmm. The stand tall Himalayas and Bharat, Bharatadesh, tall, whispering out mm -hmm. from the snow capped mountains and the caves to all, all of the, the rest of Bharat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is over here, away from, away from the world. This is as far away from the world as you can get here. Here, there's nothing to think about but what you're about. Mm -hmm. What you're for, calling quietly, calling on all the part. Oh, but there are only a couple people here. Go, oh, right? Go. Oh, Vyasa is in his cave, writing, writing the Bhagavatam in his cave, right on the border there near China. <laughs> writing in his cave. But the Ganga's there. Right? The Ganga's blowing out of the glacier, huh? the gungo tree, and going down the whole bar. And as it flows down through the whole of the subcontinent, people are building civilizations along the side, and they eat, and they drink, and they bathe, and they pray. And they, re they, they remember the mountain, the Himalayas. It's, it symbolizes leaving the world, going there, high-mindedness. Some some trees of it, and then the Ganga comes all the way to the day of thing, oh, biggest bay in all of the whole planet. You know that it's the biggest bay, and it's the waterway from the from Bay of Bengal that connects east with the west. It connects east with the west through the ocean, oceans, and of course there, the Bhagavatam is. Reincarnated as the Chaitanya Bhagavat. Vyasa has appeared as Vrindavan Das Thakur. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come, the essence of the Bhagavatam, the secrets of the Bhagavatam, the, the prayer, prayer, the you know, prayers of praying, and poems of praying, the Bhagavatam. Difficult to understand. He's come, made them accessible, easy. Mountain climbing has turned into dancing. It's all flat. Easy going, right? Meditative silence has turned into song and chanting. And you don't have to give up your family. You don't even, it's the power of bhakti. But just, you have to bring, you have to bring that power into your, in, into your life. So Sachi Devi is, is Mahabha puts himself in Sachi's hand and says, you know, here I am, I've done this, I've, I've taken some hours. And, but I can't give you up. So you have to remedy the situation and see her wisdom. 
the role she plays. Why isn't Jagannath Mishra there? Well, he passed away, right? Why did he pass away? Because he's not doing this again. I'm not doing that again. I took him to Matura, and I'm not doing that again. And I came, took him to Matura, Krishna, and Krishna Leela, and I came back empty handed. I assured everybody I'd bring him back, but the situations were extenuating. He reasoned with me and told me he had to stay for the sake of Vrindavan. It all sounds good, but <laughs> it doesn't work very well emotionally, nonetheless. And that's what I have to deal with my own emotions when I have to come back empty handed and all and seeing his own burden. Of course, nobody faulted him in Braj. But not in Marsh thing. I'm not doing that again. He's appearing as Jagannath Mishra. He left early. Now it's put in Sachi's hands. Hmm? Who he had told, surely I'll bring him back. Surely I'll bring him back. You don't worry, don't worry. And he came back empty handed. So now <laughs> she has to do this in this way. And she did very masterfully. What did she say? Oh, she says, Navadweep and Jagannath Puri. These are two rooms in one house. Because there's always people going from Navadweep to Jagannath Puri, especially going down to Ratiatra. Coming back, Prabhupada told me one day he called me in his room in Mayapur and he said, when I was a boy, then I wanted to go to Jagannath Puri. That was my dream for Rathayatra. And I pressed my father so much that he, that he got me a toy pretend Roth card, he said. And I used to keep it by my bed. And at night I'd wake up and reach out and make sure it was still there. <laughs> and in my little community there in Calcutta, I performed Rathayatra. And all the neighbors came, he said. And then he said, they thought it was just play. They looked at me and surprised me, became very big as they would sometimes say, but it was real. Mm -hmm. He said, and now I am doing all over the world. So you go and you give this instruction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is this is the relationship between Nabadweep and Puri, mm -hmm. right? And for commerce back and forth. So if instead of going all the way to Vrindavan, mm -hmm. the other side of India, you go to Puri, it's like another room in the same house. News of you will come, devotees will come back and forth, and and so you won't lose your friends. Your friends will come there on the pretext of Rathayatra, <laughs> just to be with you. And in the pretext of Rathayatra, you will spend in the rainy season at the companies that time of year, you, you will have your friendship there. So she resolves the situation. In this way, Sachi has given Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the world and to us. She resolved the situation and freed him to go and set the kind of example that he does in his sannyas leader, in Madhya Lila, which we can learn from and having learned from and uh, followed the example that he sets, we can enter into Vrindavan. So, this is a kind of is related. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance, because the way in which he really appears in our life is through his sannyas leela, mm -hmm. right? Through his sannyas leela, in which we can understand his Navadvip leela properly. Two thoughts. Thank you very much. All right. Any questions? Chaitanya right. Mahaprabhu will keep that. Yeah. You said that um, Lord Chaitanya met this before going to Bhaya. Yeah. So where did he meet it? In Navadweep, Ishwarpuri came to Navadweep and, um, and um, he was invited to the house of, of the Mishras for lunch. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was, at, was a pundit at the time. And so Ishwarpuri had written a book, I forget the name of the book, but he asked Pandit Vishwambar and he might pundit, I've written a book about Krishna. If you could look at it, you know grammar and whatnot and more. And so you look at it and see if there's any fault there. Yeah. Mahaprabhu said, How would you have written about Krishna? How can there be any fault? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There can be no fault because your attention is right about Krishna. So he said, Maybe you look at it. Yeah. So then Mahaprabhu looked carefully, and the next day he said, 
no, no, I didn't know this one thing over here, you know, it was like this, and there was a problem. And then each rep where he looked at it and said, no, that, it wasn't like this. He was very pleased to be corrected <laughs> by his guru. <laughs> and then he met him in, in, in dying. This is related to Chitam Mahaput. Ishwar Puri Ki Jai. Ishwar Mahaprabhu Ki Jai. Anything else? Well, speaking about um, what Chitam is taking sannyas, do you remember that recording of Srila Prabhupada relates the story of Prabhupada cries as he's telling it, like how Lord Chitam is like, shouldn't you have done it? Telling his mother, Prabhupada was crying. It. Mm. I don't remember that tape, but I've got to get that. That's very, uh, exactly what we're talking about tonight. They don't use tape anymore. That's mm. our generation. That's <laughs> tapes. <laughs> they don't use tapes anymore. Like, oh, no, okay. the tape. <laughs> 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 they're recording. Yeah. They're so yeah. hopefully we can we can get together tomorrow night. Some of you have had the time, please come. Any and the morning. And morning, morning as well. Yeah. Morning. Okay, we'll have some discussion. Brief, very brief in the morning. Yeah. Appreciate your time and uh, enthusiasm. Or back to Brindagi. Gold, Premanandi, Primo, Punch of the